Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on external fixation of fractures. For introduction, a fracture may be held by transfixing screws or tensioned wires that pass through the bone above and below the fracture and are attached to an external frame. This is especially applicable to the tibia and pelvis, but the method is also used for fractures of the femur, humerus, lower radius, and even bones of the hand. These are some indications for external fixation. Fractures associated with severe soft tissue damage, including open fractures, or those that are contaminated, where internal fixation is risky, and repeated access is needed for wound inspection, dressing, or plastic surgery. Second, fractures around joints that are potentially suitable for internal fixation, but the soft tissues are too swollen to allow safe surgery. Third, patients with severe multiple injuries, especially if there are bilateral femoral fractures, pelvic fractures with severe bleeding, and those with limb and associated chest or head injuries. Fourth, ununited fractures, which can be excised and compressed. And fifth, infected fractures, for which internal fixation might not be suitable. There are a few types of external fixators, which are uniplanar and biplanar, where they can be divided into unilateral or bilateral ring fixators and hybrid types. These are some pictures showing external fixation. The principle of external fixation is simple. The bone is transfixed above and below the fracture with screws or tensioned wires, and these are then connected to each other by rigid bars. There are some possible complications of external fixation, such as damage to soft tissue structures, Transfixing pins or wires may injure nerves or vessels, or may tether ligaments, and inhibit joint movement. The surgeon must be thoroughly familiar with the cross-sectional anatomy before operating. Second, over-distraction. If there is no contact between the fragments, union is unlikely. And third, pin track infection. This is less likely with good operative technique. Nevertheless, meticulous pin site care is essential, and antibiotics should be administered immediately if infection occurs. That's all for this video. Thank you.